If you are anything like me, you're probably a golfer that has struggled with coming over the top and possibly slicing a ball since you started playing golf. And you've probably looked for a lot of different things out there in the market that can help you fix those problems. I found a training aid that I personally use that really helps me with my rhythm and tempo, and it also helps me improve some of my moves and prevents me from coming over the top. And I'm talking about the G-Force Swing Training Aid. You've probably seen this before. It's one of those clubs with a bendy shaft, but this thing is something that you definitely need to have in your training aid bag if you are someone that wants to improve rhythm and tempo, strike the ball a lot better, or just overall want to start getting rid of that over-the-top move that you've desperately been trying to work your way around. So we're going to hop into today's video and show you why this is a tool that you definitely need to use. Let's do it right meow. Now we're back here. We obviously got our G4 7 iron training aid. This was the original version with a little bit more heavier of uh, overall shaft, and this is the lighter one. I'm gonna use both today, obviously. Uh, Stuart was kind enough to send both of these over to me. So, initial thoughts after swinging these, obviously I've been using this one for a very long time, is he just basically brought the weight down to make this club match uh, the feel when you switch and transition back over. So we're gonna just focus a little bit on the newer one, not too much the older one here. Um, and then also the grooves on these are USGA legal, so you can play this in a competition if you really want to. Overall, the 7 iron is a really well, nice design club. I think Stuart did a fantastic job with the engineering on these. Uh, it sets up to the ball really nicely it's got that like brushed silver look to it and you know it really feels a lot like a traditional seven iron so it's not too difficult to switch back and forth between the older one had a little bit more of like the black face it definitely looked a little bit more training 80 if that is a word but I mean there was nothing really wrong with it it obviously was a little bit heavier so when you transition back over you'd sometimes tend to have you flip the club a little bit more just because the weight wasn't the same and again here just looking at the older version of the GeForce training aids I think he's done a lot of improvements again they were always very well built clubs very well built training aids just improving the the shape improving the design we have those USGA approved grooves so this is uh, a you know USGA conforming club you can use this in competition play uh, and as you can see you know it's got that brushed uh, you know aluminum or stainless steel look that probably mimics a lot of irons in your bag so I think the goal is to just make the transition a lot easier grips are mid-size and obviously not the best for me because I do have a cadet small glove <laughs> um, and I do have standard grips but they are mid-size grips they are very comfortable and we make one grip you got to kind of meet a middle ground for as many players as possible a little bit out to the right and again the whole goal of these here if you leave it out to the right something's going wrong with the swing leaving the face open raising the handles not quite delivering it if you can get it to draw, that means you're doing things pretty good. And still leaving it out to the right. There we go. Nice little draw on that one. Let me get a front angle and see what that looks like in slow-mo. So one of my biggest swing faults has always been my transition and the G-Force training aid is one of my favorites because it really doesn't let me get away with this fault because the more I do it, the more uh, the club tends to go out to the right. Um, but as I get to the top of uh, my swing, I don't transition or recenter my weight back towards the target. So that causes me to kind of overswing my hips kick out to the right and everything comes riding down on top of the club, which means that I'm going to have to manipulate that face to get it closed. And this is a really good tool to help anybody who is struggling with over the top or sequencing or not quite getting good tempo in their swing. The slightest fault in your swing is going to produce a very dramatic result of the ball moving off into the right. But in order for you to get the ball to move straighter, you have to really exaggerate what you're working on. And when you get it right, you will immediately know that that is the correct feel for you to translate to your normal club. That's the beauty of this device. That was pulled. 
transition and over, the weight feels totally fine. Uh, definitely the older version going back from the bigger one to the normal club, you would definitely feel the old noodle effect. I do notice that the first shot or the first few shots I happen to hit do pull directly left. That's just uh, getting adjusted to the difference in the way the shafts feel. I know Stuart, the founder of the company, has worked a lot on that. And I will say with the reduced weight, it feels a lot more easy going back and forth between God, the training aid day. and your regular club. There it is. Okay, my arm's just too tired. Fudge sickle. Oof. And we're back. Sorry I had to cut that one short. I've got a bit of an overtraining injury in my left arm that's nagging me, so I had to stop filming, unfortunately. I get sent a lot of training aids. And do I like training aids? Absolutely. I love me some training aids. But very rarely do I get a training aid that directly aligns with what I think will help a lot of golfers. I see that people who are better ball strikers can easily navigate this club. Like to them, it just doesn't make any sense in their mind. They're just like, yeah, like you just deliver the club well. But every single person that I've given this club to that has some kind of fault where they struggle to consistently deliver the club with a nice square face and compressing the ball, they always have issues with this. Working with this tool really gives you a clear feedback on what you need to be doing in order to hit that ball straight. The way this club is made, is going to get you to immediately recognize the feeling that you need to do in order to make sure that you strike the ball more efficiently. The founder of the company has been gracious enough to offer a discount, so I'll put those links in the comment section below. If you do want to order this, go ahead. I think he's given a 10 or 20% off discount that'll be passed on to you viewers if you want to try this pro, uh, swing training aid out, which I highly recommend you do. Again, I'm sent a lot of stuff. I try to do my best to review the things that I think are most useful to you down that lens. This is definitely one of them. G4 Swing Training Aid, when I recommend it to anybody down that lens that they wanted to improve their swing, improve their rhythm, improve their ball striking, absolutely. freaking lootly As always, thank you very much for watching my YouTube channel. Deuces, people. Let's keep it moving.